Okay, the next thing we'll talk about Cisco certification exam information. Now this is probably for all the exams except the CCI lab exam. So if you want to go for CCNP certification or uh, basically you don't you don't have any prerequisite exams to write. So earlier like if you're going for CCNP security exams you have a prerequisite to pass the CCNA security. Again before that you need to have a CCNA certificate as well the CCNA routing switching one. But now there is no prerequisite exams to write and the validity of the certifications will be for three years and the duration of the examination will be either 90 minutes or 120 minutes depends like I think the core paper is 120 minutes and the, and the concrete papers or the concentration exams basically I think they are 90 minutes. But again if you go to the specific URL and click on this links individual papers you'll find the information. So basically here if I check the exam topics of the security core paper now if I go to this overview you can find the information here like here you can see 120 minutes is the core paper so and this is also associated for your CCNP and the CCI security certifications like I already said you have to pass the core paper for CCNP and one concrete exam and also it is a prerequisite for your CCI security exams. A similar way if you check any other paper so basically the other papers I think the duration will be a little bit different but again you have to see uh, okay so either it 90 minutes or 120 minutes so this is the SNC of paper the firepower Cisco firepower paper like here you can see this the only associated certification for this is CCNP security and the duration is 90 minutes so depending upon the paper you are writing, uh, the duration may vary and again the registration you can register with any authorized Pearson View testing center for your Cisco exams. Uh, costing is not approximate uh, right now. So basically it will be around 200 to 300 dollars I can say but uh, until February we, we cannot tell the exact price uh, in general. So there's, it's not again listed uh, on the Cisco websites. Uh, Till, till now and if you want to see the examination patterns you can use this URL so the examination pattern is nothing uh, not much different than uh, what we did I can walk through with this uh, video tutorials here uh, this will give an idea like like this is like single multiple choice single answer and multiple choice multiple answers so more like the exams if you have seen so if you just walk through with this video, basically uh, this will show up okay, the, like, like the single choice questions, you have to select any one option from that and likewise you have multiple choice questions. In the multiple choice you have to take choose three or two as given in the question. So additionally you will have a drag and drop options. Now this drag and drop options like similar to match the following drag the appropriate boxes in the appropriate columns. So this is this is like first type of questions you will find. Apart from that you may also get some fill in the blanks and test let exams. Like if I if I try to check this tutorial here the video tutorial uh, this will give information of fill in the blank and the test let exams. Now this is like fill in the blanks, uh, uh, it's, it's a little bit rare uh, you'll find in today's exams but you have to fill in, fill in the correct answer, basically the numerical answer to, uh, to just mention the correct answer. So additionally you will have something like testlet, now in the testlet you will be given uh, some kind of scenario here, uh, some kind of diagrams, so basically you have to uh, understand the scenario and the diagrams and based on that scenario you will have a set of four questions like this is the first question you have to take the correct answer out of the choices like what is the problem so whatever whatever the scenario given you have to take the correct answer similar way you have to move to the second question third question and the fourth question so we, we call these kind of questions as uh, testlet kind of questions so the, there's no configuration again here. Now if you move to the third one like 
the other kind of question like simulations now simulations are the practical part you do in the exams like here you will be given uh, a diagram and the scenario so read this scenario and then this is a console cable to get into the command line of this device so basically if you click on this particular PC you get access to the device and you will be uh, given like the requirement is so let's say the requirement says that you, you basically you have to configure some kind of NAT let's say uh, with a private IP this 192.168.1.1 network should get translated to this public IPS so basically you you will be doing some kind of configuration here and you need to go to the command line by clicking on this host and you can go to the command line okay so basically if you have to click on this host to get into the command line here and then you have to configure uh, exactly the same thing what you generally do in the real Cisco devices so additionally the the last one is like you also have some kind of simulate uh, simulate pattern is like you you will be given some kind of scenario understand the scenario and you have to go to the command line of that particular device and maybe the question says what is the subnet mask on this interface you can verify that by using show run so you have to execute this command and verify the output and in that output you will you will have the answer so basically you are not going to make any changes here but you still need to get access to the devices to find out the correct answer so this is what we call a simulate simulate kind of questions so basically if you are going for any exams not only this ccnp even the ccna ccnp exams except the cci lab exam you have the same pattern of questions uh, will will be will be the same so there's no difference in the in the question patterns